Alrighty. That's the um just got a chance to do a few more experiments with the capacitive charger. And uh what I've done today is that I've uh I've fitted these four um solid state relays here to a little bit of a heat sink. And uh, these guys are 40 amp AC output up to 480 volts and their control voltage is from uh, 3 to 32 volts DC. And uh, they're being switched just by these uh, household light switches here. And they're getting the control voltage just from a 12 volt battery just for purposes of testing. So <coughs> we're coming in just from a 13 amp 240 volt um, circuit here, single phase, um, coming into a 32 amp 30, 30 milliamp RCDO. And uh, from here the um, live goes into the the four SSRs. And I've just got three of them in circuit at present, and uh, the three the three AC AC outputs from the SSR bank go to each string of these capacitors, which is 150. Um, microfarads per string and they're brought back to a common point here and uh, fed over to the bridge on this black cable here and then the other AC, AC side of the bridge just goes back to um, neutral on the RCBO uh, I've just hooked up a socket and a two kilowatt um, heat gun just to put a load on it and uh, so far it's been behaving fine these things don't have a problem switching so uh, we just look at the current and we switch in the first uh, capacitor bank 6.2 amps about 174 volts DC to take in the second bank 197 volts, 6.8 amps, and the third bank we up maybe around 202.5 volts at about 7 amps. And we can hopefully see the LEDs are on the three SSRs that have switched in. And I can switch them back out and switch them in and out. Just like so, I don't want to have that on too on because I am feeding DC into that thing and it's not quite designed for it. But uh, yeah, that's just uh, trying to put together a system whereby the current and the, the voltage output from this thing can be controlled. Um, so I think the next step then will be to design a little feedback system. Um, lets you program a, a CV point for your charging and when it hits that CV point it just starts to, dro to drop out um, the uh, appropriate capacitor here and then it just it just goes back into a voltage uh, monitoring cycle until the voltage comes back up again and then it just uh, progressively drops out the caps until it finishes charging and you can set your your current up depending on your capacitor bank so that's the next stage for this just a little little exper experiment uh, just to show that it, it does seem as if these SSRs can actually handle switching the capacitors even when there it'll be a DC voltage on them when they've been switched off but I've got a bleed 
r resistor across each each cap bank there 100k 2 watt could probably be a bit smaller but that's what I, I had handy and uh, so now I'll probably just charge the traction pack with that just to see how it does in terms of heat and so on but yeah just a little update on that and uh, hopefully get to build up a little control circuit for it and uh, start to build a, a charger out of this thing so that's it for now